Introduction, Navigating the Program Management Framework. Hello, fellow program managers and program management aficionados. It's your buddy, Phil, here. You know that table we often encounter in PMI standards, the one that breaks down areas of knowledge and processes in what sometimes feels like a daunting structure? Well, today we're diving into the one for program management, and I promise we'll make it clear and straightforward. Over the years, this table has evolved, but it remains fundamental to understanding how program management activities fit together. If you've ever been confused by the overlap between terms like seeing program performance management multiple times, you're not alone. But fear not, I'm going to walk you through it in a succinct, understandable way. I recommend you grab your standard for program management and follow along as we explore this. We're going to break it down into digestible sections, and you'll see that it's all organized under a simple, high-level mnemonic I like to call DDC, definition, delivery, closure, or as I often say, don't do coke. These are the three key domains of program management. The table we're studying shows where the core and supporting program activities intersect with the program life cycle phases. Under each domain, definition, delivery, and closure, we'll explore specific sub-activities from integration to scope management. These sub-activities appear across multiple phases, but that's because they evolve as the program progresses. So let's dive in, starting with program integration management and work our way through to ensure that by the end, you'll have a crystal clear understanding of how all the pieces fit together. Stay focused on the table and let's unravel it together. Let's go through each of the core and supporting program activities, addressing their subcomponents with precision. I will start with program integration management and work through the entire table line by line, providing clear definitions and explanations. One, program integration management. Program integration management ensures that all aspects of the program are coordinated and aligned with the organization's goals, delivering value through the program's life cycle. Program infrastructure development. This refers to setting up the foundational systems, processes, and governance structures needed to support the program. Program performance management. This involves establishing methods to track, measure, and improve the performance of the program components to ensure alignment with the overall program objectives. Performance management is included in multiple phases because performance needs to be tracked from definition through execution and to closure to ensure consistency and goal achievement. Program management planning. This is the process of creating a detailed plan that outlines how the program will be managed, including governance structures, reporting methods, and performance measurement. Program delivery management. Focused on managing the execution of the program's activities to deliver intended outcomes and benefits. It ensures that all projects and program components stay on track and aligned. Benefits, sustainment, and program transition. This ensures that once the program is delivered, the benefits are maintained, and the program's outputs are successfully transitioned into regular operations or to the next phase. Program closeout and program performance management. The closeout phase ensures all program components are finalized and performance is evaluated one last time to ensure that all objectives were met. This explains why performance management appears in multiple phases. It is necessary to evaluate performance at each stage of the program's life cycle. Two, program change management. Program change management ensures that any changes within the program are assessed, approved, communicated, and implemented without disrupting the program's goals. Program change assessment. Evaluates the potential impact of any proposed changes on the program's goals, resources, or timelines. Program change management planning. In this phase, a plan is created to outline how changes will be managed, including governance, communication, and execution of changes. Program change. Management. 
implements and manages changes throughout the delivery phase to ensure they are integrated seamlessly without causing disruptions. Benefits. Transition planning ensures that any changes impacting the benefits of the program are considered and planned for so that the program continues to deliver value even as changes occur. Three, program communications management. Program communications management ensures that all stakeholders are kept informed with the right information at the right time and through the right channels. Program communications assessment. In this phase, the communication needs of the program are identified and assessed to ensure that all stakeholders receive appropriate information. Program communications management planning creates a plan for how communication will flow within the program, including schedules, channels, and the types of information to be distributed. Program communications management. During program delivery, this component ensures the timely distribution of information and progress updates to all stakeholders. Program information distribution reporting benefits. Updates ensures that the right information is shared with the relevant stakeholders, including regular updates on progress and benefits realized. Benefits updates. At the end of the program, updates are provided on how the program's benefits were realized, ensuring that all stakeholders are aware of the outcomes. Four, program financial management. Program financial management involves budgeting, tracking, and managing costs throughout the program's life cycle to ensure the program stays within its financial constraints. Program initial cost estimation provides an early estimate of the total costs associated with the program, including all project components. Program cost estimation, financial framework establishment, program financial management planning. In the planning phase, detailed cost estimates are developed, a financial framework is established, and the program's financial management plan is finalized. Program financial management, program cost budgeting, component cost estimation. In the delivery phase, financial management tracks actual costs, maintains the program's budget, and manages cost estimates for individual components. Program financial closure. At program closure, financial reconciliation occurs to ensure all expenses are accounted for and the program is closed out from a financial perspective. Five, program information management. Program information management ensures that accurate and timely information is available to those who need it across the program. Program Information Management Assessment. In the formulation phase, an assessment is made of the program's information needs and how that information will be managed. Program Information Management Planning. A plan is developed to manage and control the flow of information, ensuring accuracy and timeliness. Program Information Management. During delivery, this ensures the proper handling and distribution of program-related information. Program information, archiving and transition. At closure, all relevant information is archived for future use and information systems are transitioned as necessary. Six, program procurement management. Program procurement management ensures that goods and services required for the program are acquired efficiently and in line with program objectives. Program procurement assessment evaluates the procurement needs of the program and identifies suppliers and services required. Program procurement management planning. A detailed plan is created for how procurement activities will be managed, including contracts and supplier relationships. Program procurement management, program contract administration, in the delivery phase, procurement activities are managed and contracts are administered to ensure compliance and successful delivery. Program procurement closure. At the end of the program, procurement contracts are closed and any outstanding procurement activities are finalized. Seven, program quality management. Program quality management ensures that the program's outputs meet the required quality standards. 
Program Quality Assessment evaluates the program's quality needs and sets the baseline for quality standards. Program Quality Management Planning. A quality management plan is created that details how quality will be measured and controlled throughout the program. Program quality assurance and control, program quality control, ensures that the program meets quality standards during the delivery phase through continuous monitoring and adjustments. Program quality transition, ensures that quality is maintained as the program transitions into operations or post-delivery activities. Eight, program resource management. Program resource management ensures that human, financial, and material resources are available and used effectively across the program. Program resource requirements. Estimation. Estimates the resources required to deliver the program successfully. Program resource management planning. A plan is created to allocate and manage resources throughout the program lifecycle. Program resource management, resource interdependency management. During delivery, resources are allocated and managed, and any dependencies between resources are identified and handled. Program resource transition. At program closure, resources are released or transitioned to other projects or operational roles. Nine, program risk management. Program risk management involves identifying, assessing, and responding to risks that may impact the program's objectives. Program initial risk assessment identifies and evaluates potential risks at the start of the program. Program risk management planning, program risk identification. A risk management plan is developed and potential risks are continuously identified throughout the program lifecycle. Program risk identification, risk analysis, risk response. Management, risks are monitored, analyzed, and responded to during the program's delivery to minimize their impact. Program risk transition. At closure, remaining risks are transitioned or mitigated as the program concludes. 10, program schedule management. Program schedule management ensures that the program stays on track and is delivered on time. Program schedule assessment benefits milestones. High level scheduling and key milestones are established to track the program's progress. Program schedule management planning. A detailed plan is created to manage the program's schedule and ensure that all components are delivered on time. Program schedule management. During the delivery phase, schedule management ensures that all activities are completed according to the timeline. Final schedule management. At closure, the schedule is finalized and any remaining tasks are completed. 11, program scope management. Program scope management ensures that the program's objectives are clearly defined and adhered to. Program scope. Assessment assesses the overall scope of the program and its components. Program scope management planning. A plan is developed to define, monitor, and control the program's scope throughout the life cycle. Program scope management ensures that scope is managed throughout delivery and any changes are evaluated and integrated properly. Program scope. Closeout. At closure, the final scope is confirmed and all deliverables are completed according to the defined objectives. Okay, let's wrap up the journey. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into program management. Well done on making it through all this content. It's no small feat and I appreciate your perseverance. I know it's a lot of information to take in, but with discipline and steady focus, you can master this material and develop a strong grasp on how the pieces fit together. Remember, this was just a high level introduction to the concepts laid out in the Standard for Program Management 5th edition. To truly solidify your understanding, you'll need to go back to the standard, revisit the details, and allow the information to permeate fully. 
whether you're preparing for an exam or applying these principles in the real world, taking the time to study and reflect is essential. For those of you practicing program management in your day-to-day -day work, keep in mind that program management is, at its core, a leadership role. Success as a program manager depends on your ability to think strategically, to see the big picture, and to guide your teams with a vision that inspires. It's not just about managing processes. It's about leading people, facilitating their success, and serving them with humility and strength. You'll also need a systemic mindset to connect the dots and manage complexities. When challenges arise, and they will, your leadership, vision, and servant leadership will be what keeps the program on course. I wish you all the best in your program management journey. Whether you're studying for certification or applying this in real time, stay committed, keep learning, and continue to lead with purpose. You've got this.